hello everybody. We're here today. It's a kind of ladies' night. Um, I'm here with Mandy. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Hi, Karen. Amy. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Sorry, was that Mandy or Amy? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> that was Amy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Monique. Hi. Hi, lovely Karen. <laughs> oh, it's two, it's two English Great. against two American. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's lovely. It's lovely to be together again. It's wonderful. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it's it is. A long time. Yeah, it's been it's a, a little time. while. It's probably been about a couple of years now. Wow. Oh, no, I don't think it's that long, but it's I've been gone. a while. Well, this is the I first think time. Actually, yeah. actually, yes, the first time for Mandy. Yes. I've yeah. heard yeah. it voice before I think Amy's let me listen to maybe a video or something that maybe was one so I've heard her voice very nice voice I always say I think she sounds like Princess Diana yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was that was that for me you mean? yes oh, Monique, yeah. it wasn't me All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh so sweet I think that's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that too. Eh? You're so <laughs> regal, aren't you, Monique? Anyway, she's yeah, under Yorkshire. Yeah. What's the rest of your title, Monique? Yorkshire? Oh, gosh. Well, no, I'm not from Yorkshire, actually. No, um, you're, what's, your, what's your thing? I know you're not, but your sign is under Yorkshire. Oh yeah, we're um, North Yorkshire. That's where I'm, where I am now. No, Monique, <laughs> the picture on Facebook. It says it, Yorkshire Rose. That's Yorkshire it, isn't it? Vintage Rose. Oh, oh Yorkshire yeah, Vintage Yorkshire Rose. Yorkshire that's Rose. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I got mixed up there. <laughs> Amy <laughs> and Mandy, she does live quite a long way from me. Probably about six hours yeah. away from me or something, don't oh, you? Oh, okay. Monique. Uh -huh. well, that's, oh, that's quite a way, isn't it, really? Maybe yes. five hours, five, yeah. six hours away, Monique lives up north. Yeah. Oh, oh great. I live down yeah. south, she lives up north. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to, I'm dying to come down south sometime, though. But It'd be oh, lovely yeah. to meet you, Monique. Yes, it'd be lovely to see you. I've known you such a long time. It'd be such a shock. We probably wouldn't, if we met each other, all of us, we probably wouldn't know what to say to each other because we have to do it all on the phone and we face to face we go, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're going to talk in a minute to Monique about things she's got something to say in a minute it's probably going to be a bit of a moan a groaner on some things but that's the way it is but mandy update on your rats uh well not going forward, as i always say as i'm superstitious um have they um have seemed to stabilize just to tell so... everybody mandy went away on holiday she likes rats she's got rats and then over the next few weeks when she got home they're all dying Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, it was very. I had a large colony. Um, they had accidentally. I had had some. Uh, bought some. Uh, like five, I think it was a colony of seven, and I thought they were all males, but it was two two males and five females, and the the males impregnated the females, and they had the. <laughs> so I, I had a lot of rats, but I had to separate them into, um, you know, when they were old enough, uh, the, when the mice, I mean, the rats were we, weaned off their mothers, I separated the fathers and the sons into one cage and the uh, females and the daughters all into one cage. And then I had bought a few more rats at Petco uh, the day before I went away because I saw them and they were so cute. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, you know, it's either a choice of them going to be fed to a snake or to live with my rats. So I thought they, you know, I wanted to have them. So I bought them and they really took to my male, they were males and they really took to the rats and everything seemed to be okay, but we were going away the next day and my niece's husband was supposed to make sure, I had made sure they had food, enough food in their cage that he wouldn't need to open the cage and feed them. And then their water bottles, all he was supposed to do was replenish their water bottles. And um, I thought he was, 
sure that the temperature in the house didn't get too hot because uh, rats can't have it too hot. It can make them sick. So, um, but when we came, he claimed everything was fine while we were away. Uh, he would say, I fed the rats. Everything was fine. Well, when I came home, though, our house was as hot as could be. And I saw it was 84 degrees in the house. And then, um, you know, I had a dead rat in the cage. The rats all looked very um, tired and listless and just did not look like themselves. So, um, you know, uh, I got that. I had to run my AC all day long to keep the, uh, get the temperature down to a normal temperature. And he, so what had happened was our, apparently our, our breaker in, uh, had blown and it blew the air conditioner and he must not have uh, noticed or he pretended he didn't notice how hot it was in the house and um he never fixed the breaker and then there was this big puddle of water on the floor in front of the cage where my male rats live and it was that a water bottle had leaked and he had let it just leak all onto my floor all underneath their cage and probably into the cage hey mandy what's the other thing he did with the cats well, he claimed, that, yeah, he claimed he couldn't find the dry food. He had told me to put it on top of my recycle bin in our kitchen, so I did. And then, um, so I just, you know, assumed that he knew where it was. Well, then when we came home, we found bowls, no dry food for him. We just found bowls filled with ma mouse food for the cats. And, mouse um, food? I, Yes, <laughs> the mouse food in there, and, and it's very clearly mouse food because it says when the package, what it's for, it has a picture of a mouse on it, and he said that he couldn't, he said, I looked for 20 minutes for that cat food, and I couldn't find it, so I just gave him the, uh, I gave him the and mouse And Mandy, what did the cats do? Well, uh, it took, uh, one of our cats had taken it, found the dry food somehow, took it off of the um, recycle bin and ripped it open. It was a paper bag, and so he was able to rip it open with it. <laughs> and that's how they were able to get their dry food. <laughs> so, as a house sitter, total disaster. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. I would never, ever have him house. <laughs> oh, I, but it's funny about that, but very sad about your rats. So it sorry. Is, yes. Has it, has it mean, stopped just, now? It's stopped, that. yeah? Everybody, it yeah, stopped. They seem, yeah, they, yeah, they seem to be back to themselves. They've got their energy back, their appetite back. So I think they were very traumatized by what happened. And then when all the rats got, they, I think, that the puddle of water that he let must have maybe bred some kind of a bacteria and it, it may have made them get a respiratory thing and it spread throughout and just killed just a lot tell, of How many rats did you lose? I mean, what it was is uh, I, Mandy bought these rats, thought they were all males and some of them weren't and they had babies and she kept them all. So how many did you have? I had like 17 uh, male rats, and I'm not even sure how many females I have. It was less than the males, so I'm going to say cause it was probably about maybe 12 females. And then I had bought three little uh, male rats. And um, well, how many so have you got left now? So, well, I have two left of the uh, 17 original males. That's terrible. It is. It's, okay. That was 15 that I lost, and then uh, I have the three little one, three little males that I had bought, and they're in a separate cage, and I have them, and then I have, I lost, I think it was three uh, of the females, so that would be, uh, so then I've got probably about 10, 9 or 10 of the females, so yeah, yeah, he definitely reduced my population and what's scary is amy said that he had because i had said i was worried about leaving the rats i had told this man that and he said to amy and erica my niece he said um she should just get rid of the rats then and amy yeah. said, i'm gonna try and then here something happens i did he caused me to get rid of them in a terrible yeah. 
so I can't help but wonder if he did something. I thought maybe did he spray something, like spray some kind of air freshener, because they can't really breathe that kind of stuff in. I don't think he did it. I don't know. There's a part of me that says he didn't do anything. I mean, how can you put mice food down for cats? <laughs> I can not spray it. I like he could have, he could have caught if if his story was true that he looked for twenty minutes. He should have come round and said, "I'm really sorry," and given you a bunch of flowers. He just, just for the fact that it might not have been his fault, but you'd think he'd feel a little bit bad. But he's just worried about himself, isn't he? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> said anything like i'm really sorry about the rats or anything he just said you don't think it was he said to erica i don't you don't think it was anything i did do you and that's well, it was all probably that. everything he didn't do right exactly it's... right mm -hmm. he let me know if there was a water bottle leak and he should have told me and i would have told him to take the bottle away and you know, like saying that he couldn't find the cat food, then he should have told Amy and me and Erica that he couldn't find it. And I yeah. would have told him where it was. And and I only put it where he told me to put it. And oh. then he the story and says, I told her to put it on the dining room chair. He's not or young, is he, either? He's older than all of us, so it's all a bit strange, yeah. really. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But anyway, I'm, I'm really glad that things have calmed down, because that's, you know, Amy, you had a nice holiday with the cat. And then you come home yeah. to all that. It wasn't very nice. But Amy sent me some presents, didn't you, Amy? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. They're in here I'm looking at them. Oh, let's them. see if I can play it, what Amy sent me. It goes. Let me just see if it works. You press this little toy and it goes. Let's see if it does it. Can you? <laughs> yeah, that's you. There you go. Oh, yes. It'll stop in a minute. It's the sightseer. The sightseer yes. train. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, don't think you'll funny. hear it on the hangout. It'll stop in a minute. <laughs> it's still going. Oh, well. Watch. That's how it always does for real when the boardwalk. Oh, Watch. I hope it hasn't got stuck. Oh, let's stop now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we could talk about all sorts of things, but I suppose Monique, she really wanted to say what she's got to say. So Monique, Monique's is a bit sadder, I suppose. So Monique, Monique. It is. It's hi. Yeah, it is quite sad actually. Um, it's a very long story. <laughs> I don't know how much I could fit in, but basically, the past five years have been really hard with my mum. She's had two different cancers. We've got through that. And then after getting through the cancers, she started to um, come down with dementia and it became quite bad that I couldn't look after her anymore. Um, they actually put her in hospital and they had to section mum. Yeah. Um, and it took quite some time for them to get the medication balance right. They did to a certain degree, um, but then it was the fact that she couldn't go home. She had to go in a home, literally. Um, so it's been an ongoing fight of trying to get mum into a home nearby because they keep saying that I was taking mum on a tour. Um, so the latest thing now is mum had to go into hospital after being in the home again. Um, because they couldn't get the medication into mum. Um, she was becoming suspicious about she was, and it wasn't the right place for mum anyway. So she just wanted to try and get out all the time. She wanted to leave. Um, and I kept saying, you know, she really needs to be near home. So she went into a hospital, which is about an hour away from here. Um, they got the medication perfect. She started to become more like my mum again. You know, they really worked well. They were brilliant. Um, the only bit that was really hard was that they were saying, right, it's time she's got to leave. And I said, well, it's got to be the right place. Um, so I've been looking around and um, basically the information they put out to all the care homes was quite extreme and not an up-to-date version of what mum is like now and I've been fighting for my mum to get in the right place because they are just pushing her into places where they just have these tiny rooms everyone in the room are kind of 
further on from her so she can't communicate with anyone. I mean, they can't look after themselves properly at all and she's been thrown into this when she still has a mind, where she still can live her life, where she still needs her family and I can't believe where they're locking her up. They put her in a place now that I'm fighting to get her out and the social workers have been, um, they've not been very good because they actually didn't tell me they were going to put her in this place. I Then when I found out, it was like on the day that they were going to put her in, and I said it wasn't the right place. I hadn't even seen it. Um, you know, they, they, they don't respect. They're trying to push my mum. They went under, behind me. They just did everything without my consent, without anything. Just didn't tell me. And now she's in a place where all that work that they did on mum is now she's going backwards basically she is going backwards she can't communicate with anyone you said because... she didn't want to come out of her room the other day oh no she wouldn't come out of her... well they're all asian and she can't understand them oh. and, and um it it's just run by uh, all these asian people and it's a different culture and it's not near home and she needs to be a home where she can see people that she knows and the friends and family that she knows. Yeah. And they're trying to keep her there. I mean, I mean, I couldn't believe it. They're trying to bring her down to the level of everyone else that's in there. Like, I would go there and they actually put, like, one of these nappies on her and I'm saying, what are you doing? Because she is not ready for that. Yeah. She sits in the corner all day long and has nothing to do. Oh. She can't, I can't take her out without someone wheeling her out. I, I can't do anything. She doesn't get to a dentist, to a doctor's, nothing. She can live a decent life at this point. She's not right. that far gone. And she's around people that aren't uh, able to communicate at all. And it's just disgusting. It's It must be hell that she's going through. And it's disturbing, me, but nobody's helping. Nobody is trying to help me. And what, I've been but you had a meeting the other day, day, didn't you, Monique? Pardon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they overworked. Yeah, with six of them, and they were just, they just didn't hear me. They were just, right, we've just got to get her out. We're going to put her here. And I was going, it's not the right place. I was telling them exactly what I felt. They weren't listening. They will not listen. And they went and put mum there without my consent i didn't want her there um and i'm having a battle to get her out i mean to be honest there's been a lot of lies from their side i've lost my faith i've lost my faith in my social worker i've asked for another one not that i have much faith in them now because of what they've done yeah and you can't leave it's cruel to leave mum in that place is just utterly cruel. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Awful. Yeah, Can I just say one thing about quite... sounding horrible, Monique? Because you have told me, but your mum, because of the, what is it, out, what has she got, Alzheimer's or dementia? She was a little a bit dementia. aggressive, and because she was, she was a couple of years ago, that's what they're looking yeah. at, rather than the fact that because of the hospital, because she was happier there, yeah. she's actually changed and yes. they've stuck her in this place miles away from you. Yeah. Well, they said, oh, it's because it, she they're, they're preparing her for the future, that it could happen again, that she could regress. And I'm thinking, but my mum can have literally have a conversation. She remembers so many things. She can knit. She can do things. She wants to go out for tea and she she wants to see the world because I took her from the hospital. I could take her um, out and I took her out into York um, and she said, oh, my God, there is a world out here. She knows, you know, she's not yeah. completely out of it, but they're treating her in this home like she is you know um Aww. so she has improved she's improved so much i mean the, the hospital did do a wonderful job but it's the fact that they pushed this for her to go and she's now in a more extreme environment and she has nowhere to go it's just either her bedroom 
or this one room where it's mostly 95% men. Boom. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's horrible. It's 90% men. It's run by um, Asians and she can't understand them. And she has no one that can talk to her that's familiar. Um, you know, when you, I, I mean, for instance, I went to her home here to check one out. And they're talking about familiar things in there that she would relate to. You know, and I keep telling people, and it's like I'm just hitting my head against a brick wall. Um, the only thing is that there are a few issues that I had from hospital. The cares, some care in there wasn't very good. But literally where they got her medication sorted, um, that that was amazing. And she's eating again. But now she, she stopped eating. She stays in her room. Um, she won't. She won't get changed for bed. She goes to bed in her clothes. She won't Aww. go and get washed and showered and things like that. She wants to come out, and she actually looked, kept calling me when I left her last time, and I would have felt so hurt. It took me. It's taken me days to not. I'm not over it, but it's just just horrible when I leave her. Nobody will come over and attend to her. Or kind oh, of season. Okay. It's absolutely horrific. I, was kind of, I don't know quite what happens, but I have a little story. I think I told Monique that it was a lady that I used to work for years ago, probably about 2016, and she ended up in hospital, and I went and visited her a few times. And there was this one time where I can't remember why, but I'm moving her, and then I saw the back of her head. It was like oh. she had laid there for months. The oh. back of her hair. They had not brushed her hair once. Oh, my God. Oh, they had not awful. brushed her hair once. And because oh. she didn't move in the bed, it was like a fixed mark on her head. Yeah. Oh, With the hair. I couldn't, be I couldn't believe it. And she kept saying, yeah. they're making me eat and my stomach hurts. All she kept saying was, when I eat, it's not right. <laughs> Aww, Poor lady, she died. I, I couldn't believe it. Not once. They obviously hadn't washed her. Oh, oh no. Hadn't, hadn't brushed her hair. Yeah. That's... She was oh, in there yes. for weeks. Kinda... Maybe like two oh, or three oh, months. Oh, that's terrible. So I can only imagine what it's like then in the care homes. And that's what it's like in a hospital. Yeah. Well, the hospital didn't cut my mum's toenails, and um, well, I thought I had arranged it, and I said, "Well, you you know who comes in, and um, could you get someone to do mum's toenails? Um, I'll pay for it." Blah 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 blah. And I left it thinking, "Right, great, they'll sort it out." And then um, weeks later, I, I was kind of because I was creaming my mum's legs because they were really dry, and I was brushing her hair and doing all sorts of things, and I. I did something with the slippers and looked at the toenails, and they were extremely long. You wouldn't believe it. They oh, just left them. Wow. So um, I started to file my mum's nails with whatever I could find that they could find there, which weren't very good because <laughs> she's got very strong nails, but I literally, wow. they were so long. You wouldn't, if you did that to an animal, you'd be accused oh, of yeah. um, neglect. Right. And I, yeah, they didn't even tell me. And then they said, oh, well, it's for you to organise. And I said, but I thought I had organised it because I don't know the area because she's out of the area. And you get people coming in. I just said whoever could come in could do my mum's nails. It seems obvious. If people are coming in anyway to do everyone else's nails, why couldn't yeah. they do my mum's? Right. Um, so they just didn't. Tell me about it. That's the weirdest thing. They yeah. just left me. I don't get it. I just don't understand how to yeah. neglect on some things like that. They just that. seem to just want the money. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I remember one of my mother-in-laws, um, her husband got put into a... He hurt himself just as that last lockdown. Or the, Anyway, he ended up having to go into one of those homes for months and she she couldn't get it out of her head this is why she doesn't want to put him in a care home because he's supposed to have a bit of dementia but she said he put them all to bed at six o'clock at night 
Oh my god. Oh, wow. Is... That's so early. That's all food. Oh, she said no one was in the garden except someone having a cigarette, but there wasn't like the, the elderly people weren't sitting out in the garden when it was nice. He lost uh -huh. a lot of weight. They broke oh. his hearing aid, which was awful because he was deaf and, and that hearing aid was everything and they broke it. And then he couldn't do much oh. about it because of lockdown until he got out of all that. Yeah. And it's just the whole thing and you just think, Oh, it just sounds horrible. Yeah, I had a fr I had a friend during the lockdown, and her brother was in one of those homes, and um, because he had had a stroke, but she couldn't go in and visit him. She would have to just wave out the window or wave at the window, and he wanted to come home so badly. But here, what happens here is if your insurance, whatever amount that that covers, say it's three months, they they will make you stay the entire time time and um yeah. so she he had to she couldn't get him out basically and then he passed away and she was hysterical she called me at like one o'clock in the morning and she was she was screaming and she said oh my god he, he's gone and she just felt awful because all that time he kept begging her to get him out and but she couldn't get him out and like with that lockdown she couldn't even go in to visit him just had to wave at the window and stuff so it, it's yeah. really horrible yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound like you really want to put your any of your parents or any, you don't want anybody to go into a care home if possible. Right. Oh, I, know. I wish yeah. I wish my mum did me too. I really do wish my mum. So you basically need to go in. they didn't listen to you in that meeting. So what what are you going to do now then, Monique? Well, I'm well. I'm trying to get mum into a home nearby, but. We've got certain rules and that I don't understand and I'm just kind of learning as I go along because you don't know all the rules and regulations, what they're doing and everything. Right. Um, well, I've sent a couple of emails and I'm, I'm saying, you know, um, she has to be moved, but they're, they're making excuses. And it's like once she's there for six weeks, that means that she'll be fully there and I want her out of there before the six weeks are up because they have all these rules I don't know but yeah. they know what they're doing and I just feel like they're not being honest with me and now they've got her in there it's not easy to get her out as easy as you think because um, obviously they have their policies, they have this to fill in that to do da, 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 I don't know but I'm just saying it, it's an emergency now they probably just see you as a bit of an annoyance oh here's the person that's mm -hmm. moaning again but yeah well, well it's the assessment they made they've not updated it they've not put anything in there that is the positive thing they've just put all the negatives way from before mm -hmm. mum went into hospital and it's yeah. not been updated so if they throw that out to everyone Everyone's going to say, oh, my God, well, yeah, we, well, this one's a difficult one to take on. But a lot of it now, I would say um, about three quarters of it now, what they've sent out doesn't apply to mum anymore because right. she's changed. And also she's become more fragile. Um, so there's certain things she's not capable of doing. Um, right. And when she is, she's losing the ability to walk. Because she's sitting all day. Yeah. So right. since she's been there, she's just sat all day and she's not getting exercise. So now I've got to push her around in a wheelchair, whereas before yeah. she was actually walking around. Yeah, they don't, they don't do things for the people once they get into the care homes. It seems like they they try to let them decline. I've seen exactly. some things about that. When you hear the word care home, you think that they're going to look after them just a little uh, bit, but they don't. No. Yeah. no thing well, is, thing really is, I know that all of us have problems, don't we? We all do. I've had, I know what yeah. mine are. I've told you, you know, yeah. Amy's family. But Monique has also struggled, and we haven't talked so much because yeah. Monique gets just so upset with the stress of all this. She just oh, it's I just know. not working out the way she wants for her mum. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm finding it mentally and physically um, 
it's affecting me. It's it's coming back on to me as well yeah. because I am worried about my mum. And you've got you to know, work it's... and look after your kids and you've got a stroppy <laughs> ex. <laughs> we won't go into too much detail. No, but he's around a bit because of your Glade Trust. I don't yeah, know if Mandy got... knows, but a Monique's got this thing called the Glade Trust and they've oh. got birds and they've got trees. Go on, Monique, explain quickly. <laughs> we, have a big, we have a Victorian greenhouse, so we have an area um, where we grow vegetables. We have a pond and little river going through. And then we also have um, a flower meadow with uh -huh. honeybees, honeybees on there. And then we have a section of woodland. Um, so there are three places to this. Oh, um, right. And we, we tend to have little events for the public, but it's actually um, a charity now. So um, oh. we just had an event the other day with some children coming to do some pond dipping. And um, we also do bird ringing. So we, we get the birds and we show the children the birds and they let them go and they learn oh. quite a lot. It's very educational. Oh, that sounds them. lovely. Yes, yes. 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 that sounds <laughs> But it if I didn't beautiful. have this, I, I wouldn't know what I would have done because it's been quite a relief to go there when I've been really stressed and yes, actually sort of make me know. Um, I don't know what I would have done without that because I have been really bad with the situation oh. with my mum. I've been so depressed. I've oh. been really oh. depressed. So, but it has given me kind of a sense of purpose in between all the trauma. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's not even just that, is it? Also, Monique uh, suffered a bereavement with her dad. And didn't yeah, really have any yeah, time to get yeah. over that to deal with her mum. And so that's yeah, really bugged yeah. her. Because, you know, grief is a strange thing. It's like your life is grey. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Can I just say, Monique, yours is the Glade Trust yeah. Local Nature Reserve, and it's got a picture of like a dove or something on it. A dove? Oh. Oh, that yes. Um, I just because you know, you've got, I, I'm trying to change the pictures on the computer, and I went to the Glade no. Trust. I'm just making sure it was the right one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a green. It's a uh, green and brown. Yeah, that's kind it. Of we've thing. got it. My, yes, we've yeah, got it. my son. My son designed that. It kind of looks like two things. It kind of looks like a bird or a tree, if you notice. Oh, but my yeah, son yeah. designed that. <laughs> it could be either one, a bird or a tree. I don't know. Um, yeah, I see the lady, you, yes. the 90 year old who used to be part of the Clay Trust, she chose that. So we thought, well, she liked it very much. So we kept that. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. 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 I'm really sorry. Sorry, so sorry. Yeah about this Monique. Me too. Yeah. Oh, no, it's oh, awful. We, we all have our problems. It's a bit of a burden at the moment, them. isn't it, Monique? I'm just showing them your Glade Trust. Isn't I'm on it? your website, uh, Monique. Oh, got, yes. Have you got oh, music okay. on it? Have I got what? Music on it. Music? Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe That's... not. Maybe, maybe it's just... <laughs> um, something in Ellie's room. It, I thought, oh, there's music on it. But anyway, I'm just showing them your web page. All oh, right. Oh, good. <laughs> and also, to do tell Mandy, you did, yeah. um, over Easter, you made reefs, didn't you, out of different things? Oh. Yes, we went foraging and um, collected oh. all sorts of different foliage. You know, um, uh -huh. we had some dogwood and ivy. It's amazing what you can do with ivy, actually. Um, oh, really? Long strips, the long strips that go along the ground, if you pull uh -huh. them, you can weave little baskets with them and oh. do weave and, um, you know. So, yeah, that was great fun to do. But then we had um, a lady come in and she did willow weaving, and that was really good. We had about 14 people come for that. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping well. to hold more, more events that way, and I want to do something more 
um, nature sort of um, craft and also a bit of well-being for ladies as well. Maybe have a lady circle where um, people can come because it's really, really... Um, Oh gosh, everyone. Well, everyone that comes always says, "Gosh, it's so relaxing here," mm -hmm. and it does. Yeah. Feel good. You know, they always feel so much better when they leave. It gives them time, you know, just to have some calm time because you've got the birds singing. Oh, um, it's oh, yeah. very meditative there. It's really got a loving air about it. Yeah, and everyone feels so much better after they've been. And I kind of like that. So I thought maybe to have a, a lady circle where we can do crafting and just do things in nature. That I think. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like a wonderful idea. Yes. Amy I feel and like Mandy are coming, like... Monique. Amy and Mandy are coming. <laughs> I know. I wish we could. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> I would love something like that. Me, me it too. It sounds yeah. very therapeutic. Yes, oh, yeah. definitely. <laughs> But, well, that's yeah. what I'm looking to do, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing a few, uh, actually, to keep me sane, to keep myself sane, oh, amongst all the chaos, I've been doing um, some courses for meditation and just mindfulness, um, but nice. to put that with the creative side, you know, so I've been doing that just so that I'm thinking about something else, because yes. I'm, just, I'm just constantly worrying about what's happening with mum right yeah. it's, always, it's always there so i'm trying to do this just to give myself a bit of time um just to get my mind off it really because yeah. it's been really hard work yeah well oh, that's yeah. good monique that you're doing that that's yeah. a very healthy way to deal with it you know yeah yeah and as much I'm as possible you are trying to get the best thing for your mum Yes, definitely. And it's quite stressful I am, yeah. because you're not happy she's there and you know she's not happy. Well, when you read her rights on what she should have, they're not giving her what it says that she should be having, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's like they just totally ignored everything. Yeah. Um, so I'm fighting for her. I'm not going to give up with it because she needs a better life. I'm going to see her yeah. tomorrow. I'm going to be seeing her tomorrow. Um, and it does take a lot out of me when I've been there, you know. Um, what are we living um, in? You know, a few weeks ago, me and Mandy and Amy had a hangout about how crap the vets were and all they wanted was your money. Yeah. The girls yeah. are the same. They yeah. don't care about who's in there. They just want the money. Right. Yeah. We're not living well, in a very yeah. nice place, are we, really? No. 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 Well, the same thing with care, isn't it? Everything is money. Everything, you know, everything's different standards depending on... And, and the price of care is just... What amazes just me ridiculous. is there's all these rules and regulations, even about food, and then you find out children's yeah. cereal's got, like, rat poisoning in it, and that basic the meals that they're yeah. producing, the, um, oh, what do you call them? You know, the ready-made meals and all that. They're quite bad for uh -huh. you. Sticking them in a microwave. And there's supposed to be all these laws yeah. and everything about good food, and all we're eating right. is crap. Mm -hmm. They've made sure we're yeah. eating the Teflon off the off the saucepans, which is causing loads of diseases and problems. Yeah, it's like yes. how could they have not? You know, who remembers the Teflon problem? Because I don't. Yeah, I remember something about it. They, they but uh, some you know what I mean, still... Amy. What they want if they want to show you the news. They show it over and over and over for days on end. They didn't do the one about, about Teflon, did they? Right. How to damage the whole population, give them Teflon. Right. Spray things in the sky, harp them. Oh, I know. <coughs> it's quite disgusting, well, really, isn't it? That, you know, and then you've, you've got this system here. It's just all broken. I think everybody needs to go. Yeah. I just think it's all broken. I think they, and I also think that they know that we didn't vote for them in the UK. Not really. They said thirty percent, so they were probably swinging it there, because uh, I reckon it was probably less than that voted in that last election. We've had enough, and they know that. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I think the news has to get worse and worse and worse. Because in the end, yeah. someone will watch it. Oh my God! Look what's happening. 
Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's awful. I think, I think the, you know, the quality of our food is just terrible, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Is. it. Yes. I mean, it does. It definitely is here. All the fast yeah, food I mean, and... Yeah, it makes oh, see them yeah. stuff that makes them fat. But you see, right. there is this guy in Russia. It, they said that they did it to the Russians, but they've had totalitarianism. We, we're all in it. If they've got it, we've got it. It's the same system. But yeah. they use this thing where to demoralise people, make them fat, break the families up, do all these things. It's a system of... Mm. That's what they do. They don't mm. want you to be mm -hmm. with your family. They don't want you being that's close to your family. They don't want all these things. They want... They just want you to be living in hell. Oh, I know. I well, you know, it, when things are united, that just makes everything more strong, and they don't like that. If it's broken, yeah. it's a lot easier, isn't it? Uh, yeah, for them, definitely. Yeah. The only thing is, it's so, great, it's great we talk, and I don't think they can stop that. That's one of the good things about the internet. But we're in here on our own. There's yeah. no one to help us. You know, you've got lying NASA, lying yeah. governments, lying media, lying, you know, like, I did a video the other day, I probably sent it, Al Pacino looks quite like Alice Cooper, and you think, why? Yeah. Wait. What, what, what the hell? Like, what are they doing to us if they're doing all these things? They're just models, obviously. Model, or maybe what it is, is Al Pacino is 110 and Alice Cooper is 1112. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just tiny bit different. I, I just don't understand, like you know. And and I was really shocked when I was doing uh, a video for James. What it is is, you know, there's me on my video saying that YouTube could put the software in to stop us seeing all that crap. But the thing is, YouTube are promoting YouTube to be AI. So what yeah. they're saying, they don't want us watching anything real. Yeah. yeah. It's on one of James's videos, maybe not the one that's just gone out with the Italian job, the one before that. It was on the internet, it kept saying YouTube, YouTube, AI, 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 and you're thinking, I thought, it's no hope if, you know, YouTube won us watching AI all the time. Oh, I know. What it's the hell is that? Right. So this is why the news get away with it. Exactly. Yes, nothing's going to be real anymore. So it's like on, when you phone really? anything, that's all AI is just like robots, isn't it? So yeah. It's like no real person when you phone anywhere. I it? think it's all right yeah, as long as you don't watch the black screen. You know, as long as you don't watch oh. the television, um, yeah. you're okay. Right. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you do, and sometimes. You know, like lockdown, that was quite a big thing for the whole world, wasn't it? Yes, exactly. Not for my mum, she didn't realise, actually. Oh. She, <laughs> she was still running around the countryside, and I was running oh. after her. And it was oh. the weirdest thing, it was like the apocalypse, there was nobody there. It was oh, so goodness. strange. You know, there was no one on the motorway. Do you know what, um, I've just thought about what you said, not, if, she, if your mum isn't that bad. No. But basically, because she's not that bad, and because of what's happening, like staying in her room and all that, that must be yeah. That must be so confusing. Oh, I know. Yes. No. Uh, we think it's her, whatever it is, and it isn't. A lot of it's just the stupid circumstances now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, you would like to think, though, wouldn't well, you, that at least some people cared, but it, nobody seems to care. Yeah. Nobody. No, no. I know. They're, they don't. They're, not, they're not doing anything. There's just excuses for everything. Um, Maybe that's why I said, I you know, when we talk to each other, it's hello, lovely Karen. Hello, lovely Amy. Hello, lovely Monique. Hello, lovely Karen. Hello, lovely Mandy. We've got, yes. we've just got to try and be nice to each other. Oh, exactly. There's nobody yeah. to help us. No. You know, I, I have believed in the system once. I thought I wanted to be a counsellor, but I realised that yeah. the law is an ass because... When I look at them, the law's protecting them, and when they look at me, it's the other way round, and so you can never help anybody. And then um, um, I, yeah. I know that my ombudsman case was good, but they would have had to have changed oh. the law, and I didn't realise that an ombudsman is the same class as a judge. I got yeah. so many people involved. There was a lobbyist, 
the noise abatement. So I had so many people, and then basically they flunked it. And then I, I had another case with the bank, which was fraud. All the banks are trading in fraud. They're trading in fraud. Yes. Anyway, um, they made me wait five years, and then they said they couldn't help me. And then they sent my information to the bank, uh, the, the ombudsman, not me, which broke the law. And they basically went out of their way to make sure my case was, was not going to work. You know, I wasn't going to win. And yeah. I know what they did to me. And I thought, I, you know, if you believed in a system... That thing is broken, and they're paying the ombudsman millions of pounds a year to do nothing because they made me wait five years, and then they said they couldn't help me because of the time. So yeah, what is... the hell is that? They're being paid to do nothing. Yeah. That's Crazy. horrible. That's yeah. what they're living in. I know. It's horrible. I think, uh, you know, obviously I feel very sorry for Monique. I know that Monique's been very depressed about it. It's almost too much to bear. Uh... Well, yeah, the, yeah. the worst thing I ever heard was when Amy yeah. told me about what the hospital said to her dad to tell you to tell your dad oh, when he was dying. That is just disgusting. Oh, oh, it was. I mean, maybe in a way she was right if she knew he was dying. But instead of pulling you to the side, talking to you and explaining it all to you, what did she say, Amy, in front of your dad? Uh, yeah, tell him to, just tell him to go to Jesus, tell him to go, right in front yeah. of him, like that. Oh, and that's he, horrific. Yeah, what, are we, was, what are we living in if these places are like this? Uh, it's uh, awful. <laughs> Amy, Amy had a word for them after that, didn't you, Amy? Oh, yes. <laughs> I called him, can I, can I say it when hear the... The N word, <laughs> Nazis. <laughs> I call them Nazis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, they do that, though. Oh. <laughs> because when you think about, yeah, there's natural ways that you can uh, heal people and cure people that they've made it illegal, if you know what I mean. And I was and, just thinking, and they wanted to dehydrate him, didn't he? But do you know something? Uh, I mean, this sounds horrible. Yeah. And if it, when it's your turn, you're going to know what's happening. But when someone's uh, yeah. dying, they reckon it's best not to give them fluid. Only just, like, maybe six yeah. or something. Because the body's dying, and it's at the last bit, and then you're trying to give it food and water, and it can't. it's got to cope with that as well. But, like, right. to tell someone it's nil by mouth because we're dehydrating them. I mean, that's just... I just don't like that either. Yeah, uh, when, my, when my grandfather was dying, he wasn't in the hospice. He was actually in the hospital, my one grandfather, and they were giving him ice cream up until the end. This was in 1999, and they would let him have ice cream because he could get that down, and it felt good in his throat because he had, like, um, pneumonia and stuff, and he felt horrible. But they would give him ice cream. It was like... Much more humane to me. Yeah. Like the thought of dying of dehydration just sounds awful. Well, I have looked it up oh. and it does say that, that it's best yeah. not to, and that's why they go nil by mouth. But that seems to be the new death. It used to, it used to be morphine, now it's nil by mouth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it just, think? It just yeah. doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. yeah. It's, I know. Yeah. Is it, I mean, and, and as people, we don't talk about those things enough either. I mean, it's not that you want to be talking about death all the time, and I know that I've just had a horrible time being to Ellen back over Mickey, but yes. we don't talk about that side of it enough. Right. I had the same experience with my dad as well that day. I yeah, know, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, I thought so, yes. Yours, Monique, because they did it to your dad. Yes, they did. They said, and it was really weird because um, a couple of days before they said, oh, I'd be going home soon. Oh, <laughs> oh. And, um, and then suddenly they just whipped everything away off, you know, everything, his fluids, his everything. He couldn't, he, he wasn't really taking anything in by his mouth anyway. He couldn't. Um, and, and then they did a few other things that dehydrated him even more. Oh. Um and I was just totally shocked because I said, you can't just leave him like that, you know? Yeah. Um, but the, I don't know, the, the, it was horrific. Um, again, with my dad, I'm going through several oh. things with oh. the way they treated him with the care, but that was home care. And I experienced another 
difficulties of carers and um, I'm not going to exactly go through it all now but it was quite shocking um you filmed so I haven't it, had money I I did yes I took um yes I did um I'm going through <laughs> I'm fighting that at the moment as well with the ombudsman as well but whether that's going to be any well, good luck good, I hope I, it works for you but um Yes, yeah, yeah. So, we'll <laughs> yeah, it's just one big fight all the time. You don't realise. Um, but the thing is, the ombudsman on my case, they know what they did because what it was is I had yeah. a card, and then in the old days, say 15 years ago, there was a number on the card, you know, like a little sticker on it with a number, mm -hmm. and you rang that up, yeah. and then they acti that activated your card. Whereas nowadays, you just have to use the card. And then what they did was, unbeknown to a lot of people, when they activated their card, they automatically stuck PPI on. And PPI oh. didn't work for self-employed people. It was nothing, I was never going to get it because I was self-employed. And then what it was is, to me, we got put in the fiasco with the PPI, which it's not. What it is is, Lloyds Bank put PPI onto my account. That is wrong charges. And it should have been dealt with differently. But we were put into the PPI fiasco. And so what it is, is there's thousands of people like me. And I know, because I actually, because I was, you know, to me, I thought I was going to sort it out. Because I'm that kind of person. I just keep going until I can't do it. But she told me it was a bank error. And then, you know, I started to look things up. Like, the chief executive would have been told about that. And then what it is, is there's two different laws. There's like data protection and there's another one about your credit history. So that when a bank has put wrong charges onto your account, your credit history isn't showing. You could have hundreds of pounds of of fees now. So it's not showing the correct balance. Because, oh, you know, yeah. everybody goes to that system and they check, they can see your credit rating and everything. So you've yeah, occurred, yeah. you've occurred, Intra, you know, fees for something that you never even asked for, or even signed for. And what it was is in the PPI fiasco, it worked for everybody except self employed people. But what they did was they gave everybody's money back. So, say you used it and it worked for you, you also got your money back. But someone yeah. like me, I never signed for it, I never wanted it. It was put on my account, that's wrong. Charges right. put on my account, it's totally different law. And there's a law. Uh, the miss whatever it is of 1966 it's a law that's still going and the, I told the ombudsman you can use that one because consequential loss when the judge said oh the PPI it's all in the crown court you, to have consequential loss you almost had to be on the streets you have lost your house oh. it has caused oh, wow. you so many problems this whole thing um, mm. so you couldn't use consequential loss but you could walk, you use the Misinterpretation Act of 1966 something like that uh -huh. and then what it was is it wasn't even that it's like I had it in my bank account and I turned my bank account into a loan so they gave it back but they didn't give me it back out of my loan so basically I'm still uh -huh. carrying well let's just say it this way I'm still carrying that debt yeah. but it was fraud all the banks are trading uh -huh. in fraud like that that's all because it, 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 they've broken the law with the data protection you know yeah. they're the, sorry your your um credit rating one and the chief executive would have been told and then it, he's he was antonio something or other and he got a five million bonus when they decided the ombudsman that they weren't giving us uh the extra money back oh and he got a five million pound bonus he had our money yeah. Oh. I either took it to the fraud squad, but they weren't interested. But I know what they did. But I think what it is is all the banks are doing it. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we know about poor Ron. Amy and I have talked about that massively about what they did to Ron. But then yeah. on the internet, I've been watching a few videos of like corrupt sheriffs, corrupt police, and you think. Surely they need to see that there has to be an overhaul of all this, overhaul of the care homes and what's going on in them, an overhaul of the ombudsman. These places are out of control. Doing what they want, obviously. It's just disgusting. It is. 
Anyway, I know what they did to me. I worked it all yeah. out. And then I yeah. realised I had no faith. Yeah, you know, that was another, you know, that happened, oh, I don't know, say it was over about five, six, seven years ago or something, but I lost my faith in things then. And then yeah. came... <laughs> so that came along. And, uh, and then I realised that's why it's broken, because in this system, everything's broken. It is. Mm. Yes. Well, I think we're lucky planes about... fly, to be honest. Yeah. And, and what about the banks? They're disappearing nicely, aren't they? I mean, we've got... Um, there was a small kind of town that we have. There must have been about five banks in there. There's only two left, and they're, they're going to stop their service tills. Well, oh, I go yeah. to the post office and do mine, and if there's a problem, I ring the bank up, but I don't even have to speak to the bank. It all goes in my account. I've got an app about that. Um, I just go to the post office. They do it. Yeah, but what I mean is you just don't have the traditional bank that you can go in. It's just I liked going bank. in my bank. I liked going in there I'm... and moaning about Lloyd's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you couldn't do that now so much. It's all going to be online, isn't it? Yeah. And, and what if the, the what if online shut down? What if we have a crisis? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost yeah, like they want to turn this into a computer game. You've got AI, yeah. AI, YouTube. Uh, it's just they want us to be in a virtual reality, but most people don't realise we are the virtual reality. We're it. <laughs> You don't yeah, need a computer are, game. Yeah. We are the virtual reality. Yes. Um, and they've tried to. You now you've got. You're looking at a screen all the time to be in a virtual reality. Yeah. When they don't. Obviously, yeah. nobody wants to be in reality. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's so true. That's so true. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, Mandy. Mandy hasn't said anything for a little bit. <laughs> she, oh, I've been listening. Yeah, <laughs> it's very true. Um, I have a friend that's uh, she's a young woman. I met her on Instagram, and she's basically like living her life in, uh, I guess you would say, a screen. She's always just looking at uh, her phone, and um, her uh, she likes animation, and she also. Um, she was trying to get into some kind of uh like an ai friendship or something like i guess she's trying to have she doesn't have a boyfriend she's 34 years old and she's very lonely and um apparently she had some kind of problems uh in her past uh I'm she's not probably sure not real about. either we have done this with amy on a few of them yeah. they're not real when hey karen look at this all right i've seen the glitches there's something wrong with yep. the footage yeah. Very quickly, Mandy. This one of Amy, right? She was a bit upset because this girl said that she got cancer, and so she's making oh, yes. she was making uh, videos. And what it was is, I, I slowed the footage down a little bit, and then what it was is, you saw her boyfriend in the videos, like he was walking around in the background, but then it right. it flipped, didn't it, Amy? One minute yes. he's one side of the room, oh. and then he's the other <laughs> side of the room, which means that that was put in. It's all that's not real. Right. So yeah. Amy was like, Oh my god, she's got can you know, and her whole story yeah. is it's not Worry real, she just wants to make money. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, she uh, yeah, Amy's told me about that girl. I think she she And then is, another one we watched uh, was even a more worse than this one. There was yeah. this boy, he'd lost his legs, hadn't he, Amy, and one of his arms. Yes. And then what it was is, I suddenly started noticing in the videos that one minute it would be his right arm that was there, and the next minute it was his left arm that was there. And we had the same problem oh, with the yeah. Watts case, didn't we, Amy? It was all that happened in the Watts case. Yeah. And then yeah. I looked at the girlfriend and I got the pictures together and I said, Amy, the girlfriend's a female version of him. Yeah. <laughs> and so they were doing that to make money. It obviously wasn't real. Yes, and it's like, uh, oh my god! Like, and there's more. There's more. There's more channels like that. They're all bogus. They're not even. They're yeah. just not real people. They're AIing, whatever it is. Right, definitely. Well, I think I heard that actors said that now they want to um 
like do AI of them and then like then they won't I, I don't know if they'll get paid or not but that they won't actually be acting they'll just but that's take what a, they do anyway Mandy that's what they've yeah, been doing that in the 1930s yeah, they, they were doing that. that in the 1930s they've been doing it just for years so I know they're on strike because they don't want it but actually right. they're lying because they've been doing it and if you look at yeah. the film, I almost can't watch the modern films because I think Oh my God! Look at it. We can see it's fake. Right. I know. I know what you mean. I don't look like it, that. I just want to watch the film, and then as I'm watching it, I'm thinking, "Oh, that's all CG. Oh, look, I can see where they put that bit in, and oh, look, he's a cartoon now." Yeah. 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 Or it'll be the same person. Like I was watching some movie, and the actors look. I looked and sounded exactly like another woman that's supposed to have passed on. 2000 and i'm like gosh she looks exactly the same it's like a reincarnation or her secret long lost daughter <laughs> i'm sure you know a few years ago when they um they did uh we went digital something happened then something mm -hmm. else happened yeah. then um oh, but i just every bit of footage i look at i just see the black eyes whatever it is you know i make the videos yeah. i show it so yeah yeah. Do you think maybe in 2000, you know how they had all that productive about Y2K, and, but yet it's like nothing ever came of it, but do you think maybe something really did and we just don't know it or we weren't told about it? I think it? everybody's life, those that are old enough, I don't want to say very much because you know what they'll do, but 9-11 oh. changed a lot of people's minds about things. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. Yep. Gosh. Oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, uh, crazy. But anyway, we can't even talk about it. But uh, that ch I just think that that was the beginning of a like a a kind of yeah. You know, people were like, I suppose you call it waking up a bit. Maybe they, we don't, they don't wake up as much as others, but there's certain things they know are not right. 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 Yeah, and that's what they're doing to us. But on my channel, it says I'm harmful to the people. Oh. So no, thank you so harmful. much, ladies, for joining me. I'm not harmful at all. Mandy's no. harmful to the people. Amy's harmful to the people. Monique's harmful because you're on my channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is crazy. We're a bunch yeah. of gentle women. It's silly, isn't it? It's just stupid. Yes. yes. It's actually the other way round. It's what they're doing to us. Yeah. Well, we're very feminine ladies, aren't we? We, we yeah. listen to us. We're proper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Monique, we're proper ladies, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah. 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 We've actually been friends for quite a long time, really, haven't we? I know Mandy's a bit of a newy one, but um, generally, Amy and Monique, we've been friends for years. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah well, I started listening to you, didn't I? And you <laughs> no, Amy thank you, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> I, st I used to stay up all night, actually, because sometimes it was quite late through the night, I remember. Yeah, listen, uh, listening to the hangouts. Imagine listening to me talk. Yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes, though, you know, because we've had people like Russian vids on and that, but more people yeah. come onto the channel to listen to me rabbit it on. Yeah. <laughs> when I look at the figures, I think, oh, more people have watched. Yeah, they're watching me talk actually more than some of these other people i just thought that was crazy uh, people love to hear what you have to say yes yeah, I, well, I think sometimes you either like me or you don't sometimes i get a little bit you know like emotional maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea i don't think and you know oh, suddenly you, think you realize that you, you've been talking to nobody for 20 minutes <laughs> well, I mean, you're talking, I to, you're talking to everybody and making this video, but really, you're not talking to anybody. Well, I know what you mean, but you actually are talking, but, but I know it, it's kind of hard to to say all your thoughts, but but then eventually people will hear it once you put well, it out. Well, as long as they don't delete the channel, but um, 
anybody yeah. listening to this, share, share, and share the channel as much as you like. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, I just, it's just, we've all got issues, you know, like me, it was being self-employed. I think for me, it was yeah. actually when we came out of um, the Europe, Europe, it just changed. I lost half my jobs and then we went into oh. lockdown. Luckily, I got a grant because we're self-employed. And then I come uh, out of that and I get employed. Then I fall over. Then I can't walk for a few months. Uh, yeah, so I God. stayed at home. And, at the, as, uh, you know, I remember saying to Mickey, I've got to go back to work. And then Mickey died. Uh, and then yeah. I think I was probably back for about three weeks. And it was quite busy. And I was thinking, God, my leg. And then suddenly the work, like, I don't know what happened. She just, just didn't give me many hours. And then I can't live on nothing. So I've had to change work. But it's been a nightmare. Lack of money. Stress. Yeah. Uh, my mum, which I don't want to go into. I've told you ladies what my mum, all that whole thing. I'm devastated yeah. about her. Yeah. Anyway, at 87, my mum's going to live on her own in the middle of nowhere. No carers. <laughs> no, nobody helping her. I just, I'm so shocked. Uh, it's really upset me. But I can't do anything. And she goes, it's my life. I've got to do what I want to do. But she's just a very strange woman, my mum. She could live down here with us, but she's chosen to be on her own. Even though she spent yeah. the last two years since my dad's died moaning to me about being on her own. But I don't understand the woman. But I think it's all about, I have bought this house and then in the bank I'm going to have a nest egg. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. But in a few months' time, when she realises it's, you know, she hasn't even got a dog back yet because my mum's had a knee operation. Uh, mm. And I just, I can't talk to her at the moment. Yesterday I said to her, oh, I'll very quickly say this. It's horrible, this. This is my mother. So I said, so I rang her up and I tried to explain a few things. And she said, well, I'm doing something right now. So she said she'd call me back. So she called me back and she just sort of said, what do you want to know? Like that. And I thought, oh, my God. I said, Mum, you've really hurt me. And then Aww. she started going, oh, it's you. You've been like this since you were a child. All this, I, I actually wasn't very nice Aww. in my words. And I put the phone down because I thought, my life as much as possible is not like that. What the hell did her changing her mind about living with us have to do with my childhood? I cannot stand people who don't tr at least partly take responsibility for themselves or even know what they're saying. And then she lies uh -huh. to my children. I just can't handle it. It's just really upset me. I know. And uh, uh -huh. she's not going to take that away because she has. Uh -huh. You know, A, my mum's not going to be... Li and I'm not going to spend the time with my mum that I thought I was. And she doesn't, uh -huh. want, to, she doesn't want to be around her daughter, her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. She's, um, she keeps talking about and lying, you know, like, you, like she, she blamed me for not wanting to live here, but really it's because she changed her mind and she used me. I don't like being used. Anyway, so I'm, and it, I mean, obviously it is her life, but she's 87, had a knee replacement, can't walk, hasn't even got the dog back yet, and she's moving in a month. Oh my she hasn't God. even finalised on a house, nothing. I said, I said to her, you're surely going to get... I wasn't going to say this because I find this very sad and I, you know, I can sound whatever, but I do really love her. I just find her so difficult. But right. um, yeah. I said, you are renting a house, aren't you? Oh, well, the solicitor thinks that he can tie in the moving out and the move. Like, and I'm thinking, you've got one month to go. And then oh. I've said to you, oh. she's got out of buildings. There's masses of crap that my dad accumulated and it's enough to fill like two houses. She's taking it all with her. Oh my! And it just yeah. goes on. She hasn't, you know, she hasn't really done anything. Sorted out her clothes, sorted out my oh. dad's clothes, got rid of anything, packed anything up, and I'm like, I just want to scream. I, even though oh. Monique has her issues with her mum, I am devastated oh. for my mum, and it's like disaster, and she hasn't noticed yet, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't wish her any badness at all. I am very oh. worried about her. I think the the move will nearly kill her. Yeah. And then she's going to be on her own. Ah. And she's going to be, she's, at the moment, she's um, nearly four hours away. I mean, four hours, say. And now she'll be two and three quarter hours away. Yeah. You can't just get in a car and go for a coffee or pop up. 
it's a long like, way actually, yeah it's, it's not just really going there it's so there's two four yeah it's five and a half hours of driving before you've spent any time with her yeah, yeah. i don't even know what to do so monique has her bed to cross uh -huh. Uh, cross the bear rather and it's horrible but i have mine and it's different i, I and my mum's yeah. just so difficult oh, it's my life so i want to live where i want to live and all this and it's like my son reckons she's yeah. gone back to being a teenager and because she's quite nasty i'm thinking yeah. as long as she is not struggling a bit with dementia and stuff herself Aww. my son thinks she's a teenager now it's like she never had her own way and now she's getting everything she wants. But I, yeah. I just don't believe my dad got his own way on everything. I just don't, knowing what she's like. Oh, really? She's yeah. so determined. And the thing is, now she's got to do it all on her own because we live four hours away from her. We can't just... If I she know. wants us to make a phone call for us, we can do that for her. But we can't really right. sort anything out because she's up there. You know, know what's she gonna do? It's... Send us the. Pa she hasn't got a fax machine. We can't do all that, and um. Right. And then she's going. Well, I have to do. I do everything on my own anyway. Well, I'll, I'll be doing. It. And it's like I just don't want to hear it because she's chosen <laughs> yeah. that. It's oh, like my. you'd rather be on your own than be around your family. Yeah. Yeah. She wants. The, she wants the six acres out the front that she can't walk in. The whole thing has driven me mad. <laughs> but it's not my choice. I, I just. Yesterday, oh. I just had to, I can't, just don't like people who use you when actually they're lying and playing a different game. I just wanted to get close to the woman and all she uh -huh. wants to do is, well, I'll, don't tell your grandson this and then she talks about me to him. It's like that. Oh, yeah. She's just playing us all off against each other. I don't like that. Uh, so, so that's what I'm saying. My dad couldn't have always got his own way. I, I just don't believe yeah. he did. Yeah. And she's just into a material wealth. Talk. That's it. Material. Sorry. It's just a material thing. And I tried to say to her, not that it makes any difference, I suppose, but when my dad was dying, that last sort of four or five days, he signed over his material wealth. I mean, she would have got it anyway because she's his wife. But right. he signed over that material wealth to her. And considering he was a man that made his little empire and he's got eagles and things all over the place you know mm -hmm. he's buying oh, all yeah. this stuff and um but he gave it all to my mum before he died and i i was so proud oh. of him because he obviously yeah. realized in dying he can't take it with yeah. him but if you imagine right. he'd have fought yeah. nail and tooth for that but my mum's still on the fight yeah she's 87 five foot one and can't oh. walk Oh, because of her knee replacement. Right. Oh. I, I, it, to me, I, I, I just want to scream. I just don't know what to do. Oh, I know. <laughs> See, yeah. we all have these burdens, don't we? I wasn't going to talk about my mum because I do really love her. I just don't know if I like yeah. her. Right. How can you like someone that's so bitter and so determined? I know, right. I don't think she'll be happy in her new house because she just isn't happy. And I'm sorry, this is I'm telling this to my hangout, but my mum drinks quite a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you think that affects her judgments because of how much she drinks? I don't know. She hasn't even cried over my dad yet. Oh. But she's not right because, you know, we were up at my dad's grave because he's buried here in where I live and uh, right. she was supposed to be moving down here remember and um yeah, yeah. we were up there with my kids and that it was oh it was in march i think that was or the end of march when he died like a, a year anniversary so we right. rang up to say we're at the grave and all my mum wanted to do was have conversations with her i said mum we're standing at the grave she didn't yeah. she was not interested in my dad at all oh he wasn't particularly nice but I can imagine that she must have driven him mad. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. My dad was a very, he's old fashioned, you know, he was a bit of a dominator. You know, he was a yeah. bit like, it was almost like, stand to attention! Yes, Sergeant Major. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't live like that. And he wasn't particularly nice at times, but 
When he was dying, he was a different person. Yeah. Aww, the thing yeah. is that he, he was probably not very nice to her, a lot of their marriage, really, because he was the boss. And, uh -huh. um, but I think the last few years he was a bit different, but in her memory much, she can only see how horrible he is, not that the last few years were much better. Aww. I think my mum probably needs counselling and doesn't realise it. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a lot. It's a lot to lose someone and move house. That's a lot. Yeah. Also, part of the non-crying is because she has to stay strong. If she cries, she's yeah. going to crack open. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't cry, stiff up a lip, and keep going. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, I got, I, you know, she didn't help me at all through Mickey. Aww. And, you know, if, say, she, it's like at the very beginning I was speaking to her, but she was going, like, I just can't cry like you. You can just cry. I'm thinking... Oh my god, I'm absolutely devastated. Who wouldn't cry? That's right. Oh. I think in a way she's angry that my dad's gone because now she's got to deal with everything herself, but there's another part yeah. that just doesn't want him at all. Maybe so. Oh, I don't even know what to make of it. I'm so worried about her. I just see disaster. I really hope it works out, but she's oh, 87. I can't walk. Know. I think the... the, the... She may as well have stayed in that house. Why sell it then? Yeah. I mean, at least there she had a cleaner and a gardener. Now where she's moving, there's going to be no one. Like, what are you trying to do to yourself? Yeah, I know. She is so determined. And me and my son are, are disappointed and sad that she's not going to be living near us. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's quite scary. That's quite scary. Oh, she's she's moving, she says she's not very yeah, confident yeah. in a car anymore and she's moving somewhere she doesn't know. Oh, yeah. You know, at least she knows, even if she's got to drop, you know, she could probably only go locally for food or hell's, there's another town a few miles away. But now yeah. she's going to be in a place she doesn't know at all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, it, do you know what? I, I don't, it's so awful to me. This this whole thing, mm. I don't, I just don't know what to make of it. Just that my kids, oh, and that, I said, no. you just got to let her get on with it. Yeah. Do you, do you but if that was your mum, how would you feel? I know. I, yeah, no, I, I would, would be very worried. I, I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm not scared to, you know, go somewhere where she doesn't know anybody or. Yeah. Uh, I just, I wouldn't want to do that if I was in her Because that's shoes. what she said to me. Well, I'm staying up here because I've got a cleaner and the gardener. And then I heard it was Bury St. Edmunds, but it was a different house. It was too big. And I thought, well, they won't be driving down there because they will now live an hour, say an hour, or maybe an hour to an hour and a half away the other way. So they're not going to uh -huh. come and see her that often. They might come and see her occasionally. Right. right. And, um... Now she's found another one there. She said it's in the middle of nowhere. And I think, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. The I woman know. can't walk. And she's picking that up. Oh. <laughs> to me, it's just, it's just like it's madness. Yeah. You know, like a lot of people when they get older, I want to go and live near my daughter because I'm getting older. Oh. Right. I want to make sure I'm settled for the last bit. And my right. mum is this complete opposite. Like, I just can't believe that she chooses. I mean, she might not even get the dog back. Oh, no. Because she can't uh, walk. Obviously, the woman thinks it's best she keeps the yeah. dog until my uh. mum can walk properly. Right. It's like, oh, she's moving in a month. Oh, my God. It's almost wow. like the train is crashing and my mum can't see it. I, it just, anyway... Maybe I'll keep you updated and let you know if my mum moves okay and it all works out. But I'm just so worried. Oh, I know. Well, that's crazy. But all I have done for years now is worry about her and then she just wants to do these things. And I just think, wow, what a great mum you are. Yeah. Who would want a mum like that that's basically going to stab you in the back? Mm. Oh, it does remind me of a teenager in a way. Yeah. The so thing upset. is, it's not that I maybe not talk to my son, 
but my, I, you know, I love her. I'm concerned, but she's difficult. Yes. So there's yes. like you all the, She's just ah, you know, your mother's done this and all this crap. When actually it's her, somehow in like a sleep or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then I thought she was selling some of the furniture to the people that were buying the house, but I think she's taking all of it with her. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, she lives in a big house. Like I reckon, one of her rooms is as big as my whole house. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, it's like a big country house. You know, like her dining there? room table can fit twelve. It it, it, uh -huh. you know, it sits. Uh -huh. yeah, that table sits in the middle of the room. But then she said she wanted to get rid of it all, all the things that my dad spent money on. But actually, my dad always bought the stuff because he liked it. But he always thought, well, it'll it's worth money. And then since yeah. lockdown, obviously, those prices aren't there anymore. You, you know, you don't yeah. get the same amount for those things anymore. Yeah. Oh, dear yeah. me. Yeah. I, I feel really bad that she's dealing with it on her own as well. Yeah. Well, she, she's going to take with her a table that sits 12 people. She's not taking that with her, is she? Yeah, she is. But what it is, is you can take, you can make it smaller, but underneath there are the yeah. eve things that come out and it makes it into this big table and it's yeah. even got little oh. king chairs to it you know like king chairs yeah. like, a, like a throne there's two little thrones oh. it's old but they've got two thrones to go at the end of the table but listen she has because my, my dad was the way he was the sofas they bought they're old because he was living in an old house yeah. with old furniture, so it was old sofas. So I said to my mum, not now, but before I said, we are going to throw those away and get a nice sofa to sit on, aren't you? Because they're so uncomfortable. Nope, she's uh -huh. taking them with her. She's going to use them. <laughs> oh, It's so yeah. confusing about who she is and what she really wants. Oh, I know. And she said she wanted to... She's, You know, it, it would take... 13 pages at an auction to get rid of this furniture that she wanted to gone because my dad bought it all and now she's taking it all with her oh, I just want to scream I bet oh, no. you know, oh, no. and, and then when she moves I'm going to be back, you know, at my school job I won't be able to, I won't be able to I have to work oh right, because it's uh, September yeah, you can't have a job at school if you can't do it uh -huh. yeah Oh, well, oh, that is a lot. Anyway, enough of that. I've talked masses her. about it now. Is but there anybody? Sorry? Is there no one? There's no one at all close by at all. Well, yeah, at the moment, she has the cleaner reason. that comes in and helps her, and she has a gardener who, since my dad, because he really liked my dad, but since my dad dies, he comes yeah. once a week and visits her. Sometimes he does gardening. But I've said, why is he gardening? Mm -hmm. Why is she cleaning? They need to be packing. Right, right. <laughs> it's not the stuff maybe that, you know, they come in and pick up and take out. But surely clothes and books and things, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to, oh, well, maybe they're going to pack it all. It's going to cost her a fortune. Yeah. The thing is, there are so many things like, it's almost like, you know, when you, those programs where they go around people's properties and they find all these bits which are interesting to them. They've got sheds with things in them. Oh, look yeah. at those! Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, look at those big busts down there. Well, my dad's got stuff like that. He's got these great big busts in his office. There's a nice, say, chest of drawers, and then over there, there's a broken one. It's oh, like that. Yeah. So you've got nice stuff yeah. and all this brick and brack broken stuff, and then my dad in the shed had this amazing yeah. workshop and it's like shelves and shelves of tins of things and old tools and new tools and you know like it, this was a proper yeah. like he had collected even all that some of it might have that might have been long to his dad you know yeah that's yeah. all got to go oh my goodness it, it's yeah. just i'm just and i feel bad i'm not helping as well but how do you help someone Who's always saying, I don't need help. I know. <laughs> and then she's so grotty. Because, oh, I, I, you know, like, well, I was helping her. And then 
She didn't say, look, I need to talk to you. I'm not coming. i am decided I'm staying here. She didn't even talk to us or talk to me oh. and my grandson about it. Right. She just blamed me. Oh, it's all your mother's fault. I'm not coming. But actually, it's because she changed her mind. And then my son said to her, look, you only came to look up two houses. How can you make your mind up about the area just on two houses? You needed yeah. to come. And, yeah. You know, I thought she needed to come and stay for a few days and it would be okay because she didn't have the dog. But she came down with a friend. They left at like nine in the morning and they didn't get back till nine at night. And the whole thing was a disaster. Yeah. They didn't even get to see one of the houses because of traffic. So she was going, I don't like it there. But she's, but Barry St. Edmunds is going to be a lot busier. Oh, oh she, she just lies, my mum as well. That's another thing I, I, I struggle with. That's why I was wondering whether maybe she's not quite right anymore. Yeah. Oh, Floss is snoring. Don't snore. But I do really love her. I'm just beside myself. Of course. I would be too. But right? you're not allowed to be, and I'm not allowed to tell her, which is just ridiculous. I know. I should be able to say, Mum, I told her I was really worried about her. Oh, your mother's done this now. It's just, I can't handle it. It's just, this, she's got real issues. She needs to sort them out. She's not going to, is she? 87. Right. And uh, it annoys me as well that she didn't really want to get close to any of us. You know, we always blamed my dad for everything, but it had to have been her as well. Yeah. When you look at it all, you realise it wasn't, you know, my son said they were bad as each other. But my mum will say, oh, your dad was always doing this and all this crap. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. But maybe she's never been happy. Yeah, right. That, that could be yeah. it. Yeah. It's a very, very unusual thing that she's just moving somewhere in the middle of nowhere. It's just really yeah. difficult. She even yeah, said in the really phone call, Monique, difficult. just like one line, she said, well, I might be making a mistake and I think, oh God, I don't want to hear it. I know that sounds horrible, but how, yeah. you know, she used to, a few months ago, she was crying to me about how lonely she was and she, you know, I've had my knee done, I'm so lonely and, and now she's chosen to be on her own. Like, so what is wrong? Yeah, yeah it's really strange. I, I don't really understand it. Yeah. You think, you think that she would have someone coming in to care for her, at least? Especially yeah. if she yeah, yeah, you know, well. you know how I feel about things with my other family, which we won't go into, but she could have even moved mm. up with him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Know. Why would you choose? I, I, to me, she's going to die on her own and everything. I just hate the whole thing. Oh, it was. And also, sad. she's so adamant, isn't Even when Mickey was alive, my children wanted to get her a fob to go around her throat because, you know, in case she falls over or something. Oh, yeah. But she was adamant uh -huh. she wasn't going to have it. And then with Mickey, she said, well, I've got my mobile phone over there. He said, yes, Sonia, uh -huh. but if you fall over there, you won't be able to get to the phone. Right. She's still yeah. nope, not having it. That's what she's like. It's like, wow, she's a little Welsh woman, but cool. Oh. <laughs> she's stubborn. <laughs> so stubborn, it's it's impossible. Yeah. And my son reckons that she wants to turn around and say, I'm the martyr. I did it all on my own. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. But imagine when those removal men go and all that stuff is dumped in there, how she's actually really going to feel. Oh, I know. And she yeah. realises there's nobody to help her, no one to put the furniture out. Yeah. I just, to me, I could cry like Monique feels like crying over her mum, like and probably Amy feels like crying over her dad and Mandy as well. I just, it just, yeah. I'm just, I'm actually quite yeah. devastated about it all. I just don't know what to do. She's so adamant. Yeah. You know, she lived up the road. It'd be easy all to, to storm around there and say, well, you're not doing it. But... We, we, it, you right. know, and it is her life, but gee, yeah. wow, yeah. What, a, what a nice mum. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe she does have um, a touch of um, kind of dementia or something or Alzheimer's. I don't know what a touch of it. I don't know, because my son says, no, she's just a teenager now. That's what he sees her as, the way she's reacting. Uh, You're not going to stop me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's right. 
that's how it can be because it's just a rather random weird sort of <laughs> idea yes. to do yes you know? the way it's a bit worrying i think <laughs> Exactly. And the reason um, I just got so upset yesterday was, you know, when you say to someone, you've hurt me, mum, I didn't say it horribly. And then she was going, ah, you've been like this since you were a child. And I'm thinking, this only happened a few weeks ago. What has that got to do yeah. with my childhood? Um, you know, what yeah. mum wants to do that? I know. And then she'll say, mm. oh, but you were the aggressive one. It's the, actually the other way round. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. It sounds really horrible. I actually really love my mum. I'm just don't. I'm just so worried, and I just, right. I just can't speak to her right now because she's just so horrible. Aww. She hasn't got nicer since my dad has gone. She's got, I don't know. She's ch she doesn't bounce. She I'm Sonia. Don't know. She's just, but she's eighty seven. I know. Oh, I don't know. Like yeah, she's the same age as my mum. Yeah, I know. We uh, did say that they're oh, very alike. Well, when we like, talked about I, it before your mum went into like where she is now, you and me said yeah. how similar our mums were. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, what, it, what it means is, I don't mean it horribly, because I know Monique really loves her mum, and I really love mine, but they weren't very good at looking after us, were they, Monique? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, mum had her moments, but she was, my mum was always wanting to travel. She was quite an independent woman, you know, and yeah. she did try. that's why being cooped up like this doesn't go down well, because she was always a free bird. She was out and about. Yeah. You know, yeah. She's, she'd been off to Europe, to Germany, France, and then... Scotland and she was off and uh, she she would never take me though she'd say why would I want to go with you I, I want to go with my friends oh, <laughs> oh, this is the same thing like I just yeah. thought I was going to spend yeah. a few years with my mum and I'm not now yeah but it's different now it's different with her now she she dotes on me and she just kind of wants to be with me all the time now um, yeah. so it's kind of changed a lot yeah, yeah. Um, i guess when mums uh, um they're free and they're living their life but then um when things go wrong they need you more than anything maybe you should you know? take the cat in right uh, the cat, it is, yes. I really believe that even though Monique told me that she had this cat thing for her mum, I actually yeah. thought that when she said George is here, that it actually was a real cat, but it wasn't, was it, Monique? Oh, yes. <laughs> and you go, no, look, George is there. Hi, George. But actually, it was a machine. It's a dementia cat. It's, you know, it's such a response when you go into the room. It's uh, it's got pretty go. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was real. Yeah, and it, yeah that's no, no, it was not real. But um, the thing about dementia cats is so that they don't feel lonely because obviously they can't look after animals anymore. Oh, um, mum always, mum always had cats. So um, well, I suppose oh. the reason you don't want to take it in there is you don't want it getting lost, but. Maybe well, it might help your mum a little bit, or take it in when you go in. I think I might do that. And you say, give me the room. cat back, mum. Give me the cat back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Well, George, is, is, she's quite expensive, actually. But the weird thing is, this place doesn't have anything for dementia stimulation. Oh. You know, where they need stuff. Um, would, normally they would have cats and things like that actually in the hospitals. How, how does they it work, Monique? Do you know what? I worked years ago for a lady that had, well, it might have been the other one, not dementia, the other one, but she's, when I went yeah. in there, she'd go, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming in to clean or whatever it is. So she remembered I was the cleaner. And she'd say, I've yeah. got such a bad memory that I won't remember who you are tomorrow and I'll say this tomorrow. But she remembered to say that. So how could she have what they said she had if she could remember to say that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That used to bug me. I think she used to remember to say things. Know that when, right. oh, you, um, I won't remember you tomorrow. But remember to say those things, but don't remember you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. 
it's weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it depends, which is really weird to mention because it can be affect you in all different ways and how your brain functions is all very different because I'm quite surprised sometimes on what my mum kind of remembers, even if it's not the full thing, she, she, she remembers an amount of it. And I think because it's important to her that she'll remember certain things, you, you mean see. like some of it might yeah. be they've lost their short-term memory, but they have got, got a long-term memory sort of thing. Yeah, but that, lady might, that lady might have kept that in her head specifically. She's probably working hard to keep that particular thing in her head because it was important to her. But it's my crazy mom, that she could remember to that. say that every day, but yeah, can't remember yeah. you every day. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, my mum... My mum knows that she's forgetting and it's um, instant things. But, you know, every now and, and again, I think, can't... what is it? What is it? Why can't I remember it? Oh, God, what is it? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, I know. And yeah. I think, oh, oh. Gosh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I do that all the time. Me <laughs> too. I, I, can't, I can't remember what I did sometimes the day before. And if they go, what did you have for breakfast? I'm going, oh, dear. <laughs> I can't remember, you know. So, um, yeah. The, the problem is with mums, hers is the frontal part of the brain, which is more reasoning. It's more she won't understand. Um, you know, like a child, you'll tell a child, um, well, no, we can't do that now because actually it's getting late. Right. And she'll think, well, why? Why can't I do it now? Yeah. You know, so it's okay to do it. So, it's, for instance, she always wanted to be out. So I used to take her out a lot. And then she'd forget that we'd gone out shopping oh. all the day. And then she'd want to go and have some lunch, like, at the pub. And then I'd say, look, it's really late. I've got to get home. You know, I've got the boys, da da da, da. And it's like, well, why? And she could not understand oh. why. Or when we had to finish, right? So it's kind of, sort of that sort of thing that Mum wasn't very good at. Um, so a lot of the history and memory of things she remembers a lot. So now you're um, your then, Mum's mum. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Was I really horrible I about my mum? Because I do love her. I just find her so difficult. Oh yeah. Would you be worried? Would you be worried, Mandy? I'm sorry. If that? you had a mum like mine, would you be worried? Would you know what to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I would be worried. I mean, because moving is so hard to begin with, and then I would be really, you know, worried mm -hmm. about her being, like, all, you know, in a place that was far away from me and, and wanting to all that stuff. I mean, she already lives a long way away from me, but it's still a long way. It's not, you can't just pop up there for coffee, you know, it, it's right. like and it's at least six hours driving there and back. Yeah. And we're not used to that because mother, she lived uh, like within a mile of her own mother. She didn't want to be far away from her mother. And then, you know, um, Amy and Erica, her daughter, they live by so we're not used to, you know, being far away from our immediate family. Mm. So I, that would be really, really difficult for for us. I don't want people our... to think that I, you know, I do really love her. I just, I'm an empath and she isn't. Yes, I, yeah, I am an empath too. Mm. And, uh, oh, and your mom, you say she's not. So, yeah, that's, that's hard. Yeah. Mm. Well... We've 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 moaned about a few things there. Is there anything else you'd like to moan about? Well, I was wondering who's got her dog, uh, Karen. It's actually the person that gave it to her, and oh, she's the okay. one that took her to see the houses. But she said she'd look after while my mum had the knee thing. But the knee thing yeah. was in June, and she still hasn't got the dog back. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. How is her knee? Is it? Well, I didn't have chance. I know it's not that. I know. I know she hasn't got the dog back. Uh huh. I know yeah. she can't really walk. Yeah. Because my son would yeah. tell me that she was getting better, and he hasn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's another worry for you. You know. I'm really yeah. worried, but I'm not allowed to be. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really awful. Yeah, it's yeah she's just a, such a, a weird person. Oh. All for the Empire. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. My, I was proud of my dad that he realised, even if it was a few days before he died, but he wrote a will and said, I'm leaving everything to Sonia. Yeah. And it's like, I was so proud of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I, I, I don't. Well, hope for you, Mandy, that all is okay with the rats now. Oh yes, I hope so. I every day I'm scared to see their cage, but you know <laughs> I, have to, I have to keep looking because they they like a lot of interaction from their owners. Well, they're quite. I had a a job in the past. I've had rats. I feed them. <laughs> They've got their little biscuits there, and when no one's looking, I go here you go rats. They're quite sweet rats, <laughs> but they eat yes. everything. They will. They do. They'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> or even yeah, shred everything. So if you've got a curtain near the cage, they'll shred it. What they can get to, they'll shred. Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, mine, I left, I left some paper towels on top of one of the cages, and I see that they're pulling the paper towels. <laughs> bedding, bedding. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, I really hope that uh, think... it's all settled down now. Yes, I do too. <laughs> Amy, we haven't heard much from you, really. Oh, yes. Have you got any news? We could do the... Well, I showed you the Trump ones. The wall or the wheel. There's only two <gasps> things that work, he said. The wall and the... The wheel and the wall. And I'm thinking... That's me. <laughs> well, or death penalty, isn't it? And he wants to kill everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but the scary thing is, a lot of people go along with that. I've yeah. seen a lot of people want him to carry out all the crazy stuff that he says. Do you uh, think so... what it is, is it's a bit like, say if you actually went to watch him, you'd think, God, he's talking a load of rubbish. But when you get the news, they only take a one-liner out. So people think, yeah. when he's going, God save America and all that... People, oh, look, oh, he's into America. But he isn't. He, if you actually listen to what he's talking about, he wants hanging, uh, he wants oh, beheading, oh, he wants oh. it televised. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Isn't it bad enough that we've got all those corrupt police? He just wants to give them more power. Is he, is he reincarnated Henry VIII or something? So. And also, also, <laughs> even though it might not be anything and because he talks a load of rubbish all the time, a couple of people said to me, why does he say we won't have to vote in four years? I mean, if you listen to the video, it's what it is, is because it's a clip. It's him saying, things are going to be so good with me, you won't have to vote in four years' time anymore because I'll have sorted everything. But he mentions it twice and it made people go, oh my God, what does he mean we won't have to vote in four years' time? Yeah, that's very strange. Yeah. And then often when they put those things in, they're telling you. So I think what it is, is if you listen to his speeches... If he gets it, say, well, whoever they are, but when they become the fake, you know, and they get put in because um, they're not voted for, or unless they put Kamalia in, um, yes. he's already told yeah. you what he's going to do. You just didn't listen. Right? Yes. Yeah, but he's, he's changed a lot. I mean, he used to be a nationalist, and now he's not. Isn't um, that great? They just change it. Like, scrub that out. He's not a nationalist anymore. He's a, he's a what? He's a, um, he's a... Global. Oh, right, yeah. Glo oh, uh, that's all about money, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, it, it really is. It's a whole, he's like different than what he was in his first term. Um, yeah. When I first, I, when I first started like, talking Trump. with the Watts case, Amy, you quite yeah. liked Trump then, didn't you? <laughs> I, I did. I did like him. I voted for him. Yeah, we we liked him. Yeah, I, I didn't pay attention to the whole political thing. I've never been in the Well done, Mandy. <laughs> well done. I'm not, well done. <laughs> I'm not even... 
Yeah, I'm not even registered as a Democrat or a Republican. I'm just a registered unaffiliated because, like, none of the parties truly, like, really espouse everything that I well, believe. Well, you don't really have a choice, do you? And they're selected, not elected, so you don't have a choice anyway. You don't have a choice with, like, he's good and she isn't or whatever it is. You don't get a choice there. They're both crazy because... Kamalia won't stop laughing. <laughs> That's oh, what they call. Really? Oh, In one video, she was the yeah. laughing goddess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, and then she says strange things. She does. She said this one on the video. He's like, well, when we did this and when you look back at that, and she just didn't make sense. In fact, she didn't really say anything. And you're like, the Australian <laughs> news used it. It was oh. so, so funny because it was a few years ago it, it happened. But... Anyway, and she looks like Tina Turner. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> like, what is going on? Al Pacino, Al Pacino looks like Alice Cooper. Oh, God. I know. I Help! I'm drowning. That. I'm drowning. <laughs> I know. Anything and, else and you want to... You, you, well, you had some fun. Amy can... Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, but that bit about the cats, you got upset about that, didn't you? Oh, yes. Uh, we're still upset about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Our next yeah, door yeah. neighbors. We yeah. might be moving, too, Karen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Monique, we may be moving. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Oh, because, uh, well, our, our niece on her street, which isn't far away from where we live. You um, have to live yeah, next to him. But, uh, Mandy, yeah, you have uh, to live uh, next to him. Down. It's two doors down from my daughter's from where house. Is. Yes. Uh -huh. There's a She's nice down the street from us. Yeah. And the lady is selling her house, and um, my daughter really wants us to get it. So the lady's really, we're going to look at it on Saturday. And yes. See, she's willing to give us first dibs when it is. Right. If interested. But yeah. you said your, your mom has a lot. Well, we have a lot, too. We, <laughs> we do. We do. We get this house packed up. It'll be a miracle. I know. <laughs> Any, that anything is possible. Because we've got stuff yeah. from my mother and father, my grandparents. Yeah. We generations. We've been in the house for, uh, this is our, my childhood home. Yeah, I'm surprised so that you want to move camera. out of your dad's house, really. I, I know, I don't, it's not the house, it's, uh, it's just the situation now is too tense. Yeah, and, it's and uncomfortable. Too, uh, it's very uncomfortable. Just to explain, oh. what it is, is that Amy, I suppose, you hmm. do you do it as well, Mandy, but Amy feeds stray cats. Yes, we both do it yes we were both feeding the straight stray cats that come around it's just a few cats which come and get food off their porch yeah. they don't go into your house and then the right. neighbors got yeah. really funny about it and sent a horrible letter yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been feeding them for two years or something you know so it's and they're used to it what they it probably is those. is the, some of those cats have pooed in his garden. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but they wrote you a horrible letter and said that they wanted to have all the cats put down or taken away or something. And that's that. <laughs> Amy's yes. like, I'm coming out with my sword. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, because they were right out when, as soon as we got the letter, the cats were on the porch and they were looking for their dinner. And I said, I'm feeding my cats. And I just went ballistic. And I went out there and I was just, I started like just screaming. And it was me and it was scared. I was <laughs> so upset because I thought, how do you just not feed these poor little cats? And some, and one of them had kittens now. So there's like three pretty cute little kittens. I know, but if you move, you won't be able to feed them at all. I know. Well, Erica said that I was worried about that, and Erica said that uh, she was going to try to find some kind of, like, maybe a farm that they could be moved to or something. <laughs> well, if we, if we do move, we won't have to be out for about a year because um, the woman has to be out of her house in, like, a month or two because she's bought some place. But if we buy the place, then we still have to put our house on the market. But we have to do a lot of work to this house before it would be ready to be put on the market. Yeah. Or we'll 
We could possibly sell it as is, but we would get less money. So Eric is going to try to figure all that out. But in the meantime, so the cats have another year where we can still be like actually living here and be able to. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of come and go. Um, sometimes you'll see them, and then like there have been ones that they just vanished. Like we we, we saw them, and then they stopped coming, and then their kittens come. One and of then... Mickey's cats is like that though. Cam, he comes back sometimes he f throws himself on the floor down there and he sleeps for a while sometimes he sleeps on my bed but more than likely he comes uh -huh. in he eats 10 minutes sleep and he's back out again chasing the girls Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at my porch right now, and the mother, there's a little mother cat, and she's black and white, and her little black and white kitten is eating some dry food. That we <laughs> but you know what? They're funny cats things. They might, being here, Mickey's cats are so different. Like, Minnie doesn't like, well, Missy and Minnie don't seem to like Cam that much, the boy cats. They hiss at me, like, <laughs> get away from me. Um, but in Mickey's house, Miss Minnie used to look through the window, see Cam and go, <sniffs> and then she was sort of Aww. a bit feral. She just used to sort of live in the garden. Here, yeah. she's very affectionate, as long as she's in control, Aww. and she's Aww. an excellent dog. Aww. She she lies in the garden. She doesn't really leave the house. She is like, she, I'm not saying with humans, but in her world, she would protect any animal from getting in our house. She's a dog. Uh -huh. She's like a really good dog. And then she sits, yeah. she climbs out the window here where I am, Aww. and she sits on the roof, and she does it at the back, she's watching. <laughs> Aww. But Missy's Aww. in and out, she's a bit like, I'm here, don't, don't touch me, feed me, bye! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you pick them up and they go, meow, I'm like, no! You think, I want to hold you! They're not very cuddly like that. That doesn't mean they don't come and yeah. sit on you or come and sit next yeah. to you. But the uh -huh. moment you pick them up, that's it. Get off. Yeah, yeah. that's how our cats are. Oh, yeah. Or at least two of them are like that. George isn't yeah. like that, is he, Monique? No, no, George. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get George out sometime. He's upstairs the moment. Oh, so, but oh, what, I, what I do have is a house rabbit called Tosca. Um, oh, he's the rabbit? Yeah, house bunny. Yeah, oh. called Tosca. <laughs> and so he kind of sits next to me in the kitchen and he runs around the house and I go out the back door, he comes in the garden for a little bit. It's um, the back garden. Do you know what? Is he, he is a rabbit, but he's more like a human yeah. now. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, I'll, I'll send you a picture of him. He's got. No, I'm not going out there. It's too cold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's got a lovely black silky fur. He's absolutely gorgeous. He oh. looks a bit more like a hare, actually. Where does he sleep at night yeah. then? Um, well, I'm actually funny enough. Under the kitchen table, I've got a little cat basket, and he sleeps in there. Oh, well, you've got one, I've got four, and in Amy's house and Mandy's house, there's loads of them. Because <laughs> yeah. Mandy hasn't just got rats, she's got ferrets, haven't you? Yes, I have two ferrets. Oh, they're, wow. They're all, wow. They're, they're all, we got them in 2016, I think. Oh, so they've been quite a long time then. Yeah, yeah they're about eight years old. Yeah, and ferrets don't usually live past ten. They're starting to kind of wind down. I don't think there's any. Oh. Jet they were the one's hair is like uh, bald and like <laughs> body. No heads around her head. And then the other one, uh, she has been having some itching, but other than that, her fur looks okay. I didn't see any fleas on her or anything, so I, I don't know why she was itching. Um, I thought maybe I had changed their food. I thought maybe she got a little allergy to the food, so I stopped. Uh, I put her back on her regular food, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Is there any better. more? I can't remember now. Mice. You've got mice. I have mice. Yeah, she has lots of mice. Yeah. <laughs> I have mice. 
Yes, they live in cages, um, and so do the rats. And the, the ferrets mostly stay in the cage, but they do come out and run around because they need exercise. But my <laughs> have wheels in their cage that they can run in for exercise. The mice were another accidental reproduction. I had bought two, and I thought they were both girls. That was what the place told me, but obviously they weren't because <laughs> about six months, it took a while before they reproduced, but then one day we saw babies in the cage. So. Andy, were you ever <laughs> frightened? Like, oh, my God, I've got so many animals. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Like, I'll worry about, like, I'll have nightmares, like, the house is on fire, and I'm like, oh my god, we have to get all the animals out, we've got to get the cats oh. and their carriers, and we have to try to get all the mice out. <laughs> like, I had one of those just the other night, and I was, I was streaming, like, fire was pot, and then we think we got out the fire. Like, I thought my whole neighborhood was on fire, and then, <laughs> and then uh, like, a little another spot would show up, and I'd be taking baby baking soda but that was like my main concern was I've got to get my animals out <laughs> just let them run loose and oh, yeah so it is a, it is a worry you love them but it's a worry yeah always an additional worry yeah. Monique, Monique has the Glade Trust to look after Monique makes clothes I know, that's awesome. She's a sewing lady, aren't you, Monique? And sometimes Monique does classes with women, don't you? <laughs> and, and what about that big one you did with the WI? That was loads of women at that one. Oh, God, it was 40. Nearly, yeah, just about 40. Oh, <laughs> God, that was a big class. I had to have a mic. Oh, well. <laughs> Hello, Hello, ladies. Can you hear me? <laughs> See, Monique, like Monique always comes across like maybe you're lacking in confidence, but when you actually think about it, Monique, you don't give yourself enough credit for yeah. things. I don't know if I'd like to stand. Hello, ladies. Can you hear me? Right. Now get your piece of material out. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could. She'd be going, oh, gosh, why aren't you yeah. paying attention? <laughs> Listen to me. Well, yeah, I didn't realise I was going to have a mic and I didn't really realise that I was going to have so many ladies. But I think once I get into teacher mode and it's a subject that I kind of am passionate about, then I find it. I just See, you, you don't give yourself enough credit, you don't. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. Yeah, Money can, can do anything. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Sometimes I just um, have too many sort of things that I would like to do, and I just kind of think, I don't really know what to teach because I've got a few subjects I'd like to do, so, so I'm sometimes quite difficult. And I've got to really concentrate on one line of things, really. Um, but I do tend to be a bit of a scatter brain and go on to many different things. <laughs> but I think variety is good to have though, isn't it? So um you don't get too kind of bored with one subject. But they're all kind of interlinked, I would think. They're all kind of related. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, And the Glade Trust. It's not just that she's got all this stuff um, with sewing and making things. She's got the Glade Trust, which is all about nature and growing vegetables. And yeah. I know. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I just picked my four tomatoes today. I was really excited about that. Yeah. And some green beans, yeah. So, but it's we've got a big collection of herbs, and I'm hoping that um, that was something I used to do when I was married. My husband was actually. Um, a nursery man, so he grew all varieties of trees, and oh, that's, that's why I got into herbs. Then I used to, I, I really loved herbs, so I kind of like the medicinal and used in cooking and all sorts of things. I like to. Oh, that's great. Teach people. Monique, you're a woman of many wonders. She is. Yes. <laughs> I guess it's the things I've just done over the years. It's just what you pick up, what you're interested in, isn't it? So I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah, I couldn't say I had a favourite, but I guess 
um, as time goes by, one of them will have to go, I guess. I, I always thought, well, on the machine, it's quite hard. Would I be able to actually sit there doing that for the rest of my life? I don't know. <laughs> you know, So I oh. sort of went down different areas and thought, right, that would be a bit easier when... When I'm a bit older, I'd have different things I could teach, you know. But um, maybe make some quilts. Yeah, I'd love the outdoors. <laughs> maybe so outdoors. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Can I just I say that we've been going now good. for two hours? Oh, yeah. Two hours. Two wow. hours of, of us <laughs> chatting away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think it's a good? Do you think it's a good time to kind of stop now? Yeah, yeah. I I'll have to because I have to get up, and obviously I'm going off to see Mum tomorrow, so um, yeah. I'll be up early. Actually, I really hope morning. that it something works good, whatever it is, however it comes for your mum. So do yeah. I. Yes. Yeah, me too. Because I miss her dreadfully, you know, because. She's the one who I do crafting with as well. She's a knitter and um, crochets and loves to be active and things like that. You know? and it just hurts me so much that she's just sitting there. Can you do it this way, Molly? Mum, uh, can you knit me 12 dozen coasters? I'll come back for them next week. <laughs> oh, my phone's going. And then my phone ran out of battery, I'm afraid. It just was, it was on about 12% and it just went donk and off. But we were thinking of finishing. So what I did was I went over to Facebook and the last couple of moments is the girl saying goodbye. I can't do narration, so I can't be on there and talk. You can see me, but you just hear the girls. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully there were some maybe interesting bits there people heard. And thank you very much to Mandy, Amy and Monique. Oh, so we're going to wrap up the Hangout now. So mm -hmm. it was really lovely talking to everybody. And <laughs> we had a great time and we're, we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. we'd love to. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Amy. It was wonderful <laughs> chatting to everyone. Um, oh, it's been a long yes. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just hope, it again. Great. hope everything you. works out. I'm, I'm going to be going now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't hear you. Um, oh, yes, I just had a really Yeah, we just Bye. Say yes well goodbye to everybody i had a really good time it was nice to get to talk to monique for the first time and um i'm just wishing the best for everybody with their moms and uh just uh yes it was so nice to have a nice ladies night and i hope we can do it again look forward yes. to it <laughs> yeah. thank you